um, there has been talks about a fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage. That if it if it is passed, it would it would lift seven point six million Americans out of poverty. Um, the Urban Institute published a new a analysis on what would happen if the federal minimum wage was increased to fifteen dollars an hour. The annual family earnings of nearly fifty six million a uh, million affected workers nationwide. Their ab their um their um. The family income would raise about five thousand six hundred dollars if it's passed. If no worker, if no workers lose their jobs with the fifteen dollar fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage, seven point six million people would be lifted out of poverty, which would be a good thing. But raising the but raising the minimum wage stands to benefit millions of Americans American workers supporters say lifting them out of poverty and increasing workers' family resources. But it has remained stagnant and untouched for over a decade. Now. A new analysis by the Urban Institute looked at the at the different ways that a fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage would impact the working class, like the working class families, including the debate over whether a higher minimum wage would end up taking jobs away from the very workers it's supposed to help. Um, the current federal minimum wage is seven twenty five an hour, which is what it is in the state of Indiana where I live at, and it was established in two thousand nine. Now, thirty different states in Washington and Washington D.C. have set higher minimum wages along with other cities across the country, but over the past decade, there has been a growing demand for increasing the federal minimum wage as someone working a full-time job at seven twenty five an hour does not earn enough to keep a family out of, the, out of poverty. Now, researchers at, Urban, at the Urban Institute found that if a $15 an hour federal minimum wage was adopted, the annual family earnings of nearly 56 million Americans affected, like I said, would raise an average of $5,600. The Hispanic workers are set to see the largest increase in earnings and reductions of poverty, and it would raise their and it would raise their income by five thousand nine hundred dollars, and net family resources would increase by almost four thousand five hundred, while two point five million would be lifted out of poverty if you're Hispanic. Now, the African American workers would also benefit greatly, with Urban Institute estimating that one point two million people would be lifted out of poverty. Now, certain states also would see the largest reduction poverty, of um, the re largest reductions in poverty in the country. Including Louisiana, which would see a 3.2 percent um, point reduction, and Texas would see a three point uh, would see a three point um, a three point um, a three percent point reduction, and Florida and Mississippi would both see a three point would see a three point um, percentage reduction also. Now, Louisiana, Texas, and Mississippi do not have what they call their own state federal um, state minimum wage laws, which means that which means that they rely on the federal seven twenty five dollar rate. And Florida has a ten percent has a ten has a ten dollar state minimum wage. Now, twenty percent of the affected workers currently earn less than nine dollars an hour, and another eighteen percent earn about somewhere between the nine and twelve dollars an hour, which means that they stand to see the largest increase in their hourly earnings if a federal fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage is adopted. Now, however, not everyone is on board with this increase. Now, with urban with the Urban Institute noting that opponents of raising the federal minimum wage would argue it could lead to um. It could lead to labor costs that are higher than the economic value of a worker's production, and that could lead to a drop in employment. In employment, as as the higher wages could put pressure on the prices of goods and services, contributing to inflation. Now, employers may find alternatives to manage the cost of raising worker wages, like cutting back on the hours. Um, but even if the Congressional Budget Office (CBO) in 2019 found that minimum wage increase may not change the average hours worked among workers who keep their jobs, but it's not clear. How, employ how employment can be impacted, as, urban, as the Urban Institute explains, that it depends on how much an affected worker's wage, in um, wage, um, worker's wage changes. Now, a worker who currently makes eight an hour and is bumped up to 15 will be more likely to lose their job than a worker who is going from 12 to 15. Now, despite the risk of workers losing their jobs, er the Urban Institute concluded that they would still see the annual family earnings raise, um, rise under a $15 hour minimum wage, by by a more modest average of um of one thousand six hundred instead of five thousand six hundred, if no workers if no workers lose their job with the fifteen dollar hour minimum wage, seven point six million people will be lifted out of poverty as we mentioned before. Now the senate now the now the senators, Senator Bernie Sanders, who's an independent from Vermont, has been one of the strongest com um has been has one has been one of the country's strongest, and loudest proponents for raising that minimum that minimum wage, and the senator and introduced legislation last year. That would establish a fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage by twenty twenty five, but it has yet to be taken up by the House. Now we can no longer tolerate millions of workers not being able to afford to feed their families or pay their rent. The time for talk is over. No more fucking excuses. It is time for Congress to act and raise the minimum wage to at least fifteen dollars an hour, if not more. And this is what Sanders said in the statement. And I agree, because I live like I said, I live in Indiana, where the minimum wage is seven twenty five an hour, which is not enough. 
Now you you can find jobs in Indiana that pay more than that pay more than that pay more than like thirteen, which my job that I currently work for it's an oil change company, and they make more than thirteen an hour, so that's good. Um, at least for the area where I live at. Um. Now you can, like I said, you can find jobs in Indiana that pay more than thirteen. You just gotta know where to look. Um. But even with um, but even if you raise it to fifteen, it's gonna cause inflation to go up again a little bit. And then 15 is going to be completely pointless, and then you're going to have to fight for a higher minimum wage again. Meaning, next thing you're going to have to do is fight for 20, 25, and out, either 20 or 20, 20, or either 20 dollars an hour or 25 dollars an hour would be better than the 15. Because once inflation kicks up again, then 15 dollars an hour is going to be pointless. Um, but if you like the video, um, you can give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, RBW King, and then you can also hit the notification bell so that you know when a new video comes out. And if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the About section of YouTube. And for just a little, a few bucks a month, your donation can help go a long way, and thanks for listening.